In this video, we will cover hardware setup and configuration for Epson U220 impact printers for use with Rescue POS. Get to know your printer. Printing functions are an extremely critical part of POS operations. So let's start by getting to know your printer. The front of the printer. There are two buttons on the front of the printer. The rocker switch on the front is for power. On the front panel is the paper feed button and is indicated with a feed icon. The latch on the top is used to open the top of the printer so you can load paper. Lift the front cover to replace the printer's ink cartridge. The bottom of the printer. This is where the connection ports are located. The included power supply uses the round connector. There are pins on the connector cable and it's keyed to a certain orientation. Do not force the power connector or you can damage it. The power connector locks in place and can only be removed by pulling back the outer sheath of the connector. To use an automatic cash drawer, you can connect the drawer using the port indicated here. However, we do not recommend using this printer at the register since it's slower and much louder than a thermal printer. For wired network printing, you will use the LAN port indicated here. There is also a small SW button that is used for special functions located here that will be covered later in the video. Printer FAQ. This printer uses impact printing, which means an ink cartridge is required. It uses regular bond paper and the paper roll size is 3 inches by 250 feet. The printer connects via wired LAN network only and must be set to DHCP. There are many variations of this printer, so the only way to be sure that your printer is compatible is to order it from Rescue. How to load paper and ink. When printing is very light, you know it's time to replace the cartridge. To load the ink cartridge, open the front cover. Reference the diagram inside the printer. Remove the spent cartridge by pulling up and sliding the cartridge out. To install a new cartridge, reverse the process. Hold your thumb on the gear to make sure the ribbon is tight and insert the cartridge, making sure it snaps into place. To load paper, pull back the latch at the top and open the lid. Load paper with the flat side of the roll facing toward the front of the printer. Loading the paper backwards will cause feed issues. Hold about 2 inches of liter while closing the lid. Printer lights. The front of the printer has some indicator lights. The green light indicates the printer is on and getting power. If the light isn't on, toggle the power switch and check the power cable. A red light indicates that the printer is out of paper. If the paper out LED is on, the printer will not be available for POS printing. Replace the paper to clear the air. Failed print jobs on the POS should start printing automatically. A red light indicating there is an error with the printer. If the printer is in an error state, it will not be available for POS printing. Open and close the lid and power cycle the printer. If the error LED comes back, you may need to have the printer serviced. Contact Rescue Support for options. Factory resetting the printer. If you get an error or you need to reset the network settings, you can factory reset the printer. Turn the printer off. Hold down the SW button on the bottom of the printer. It can be pressed with a toothpick or ballpoint pen. While holding down the SW button, turn the printer back on. Keep holding the SW button until it prints. Release the SW button. Do not turn off power. Wait for the status sheet to print. This completes the reset. Printing the status sheet. Start with the printer powered on. Hold down the SW button. Wait for the status sheet to print. Release the SW button. Look for the MAC address under Ethernet status and label it on your printer. The MAC address is used when setting up your printer with Rescue support. 
you're now ready to connect the printer. This printer uses a wired network connection. This video assumes that your dedicated POS network is already set up and within specifications. To learn about network setup requirements, please contact Rescue Support. To connect your printer, make sure the printer has power indicated by the green front panel light. Turn the printer off. Plug in an Ethernet cable from your POS network into the LAN port on the bottom of the printer. Turn the printer back on. And when the printer is connected to the network, it will print the IP address received from the router. If you received your router from us, it will be 10.10.10. .10 if the IP address checks out, you're ready to configure the printer in Rescue POS. LAN printing troubleshooting. If the IP address does not match your POS network, the POS will not be able to communicate with your printer. Check your cables and make sure they lead back to your dedicated POS router. Contact Rescue Support if you're still having trouble. POS Printer Configuration When you have completed hardware setup for your printer, contact Rescue Support. Since printing functions are critical to operations, we keep POS printer configuration settings locked to avoid being accidentally changed or misconfigured during service. Contact Rescue Support to assist you in assigning your printers. In this video, we covered your printer hardware, how to load paper and ink, how to reset the printer, and how to connect your printer to your network, and what to do if you need additional help. Thank you for watching.